Appreciate your joining the escort on such short notice, Marshal. My pleasure. I never object to getting out from behind my desk, if you know what I mean. You know, Marshal, it's a three-day ride to Fort Laredo. A man could easily get himself killed between then and now. Shut up, Scrag. So help me, I could hang the both of you myself. <laughs> Hold up there. Whoa. Hey, Sheriff. How about a drink? You wouldn't want me to die of thirst before they got a chance to hang me now, would you? Give him a drink, and then gag him. Bridge out at Fox Creek. We're gonna have to head over Black Canyon Flats this way. We can camp up there. Much obliged. Like I said, Marshal, man could get himself killed real easy. Clive. Hello, Marie. Have you seen Jack anywhere? No, uh, but he uh, left a note. What does it say? I was hoping you could tell me. It is English you're teaching him, isn't it? Yes. Maybe I need to find a new approach. Is there a problem? Yes. The uh, chamber won't align with the barrel. Oh. Clive? Clive! Isn't that Jack's horse? Here, Marie. No, I'm coming with you. How is he, Marie? He's lost a lot of blood, but he's alive. We need to get him back. Do you think he'll make it? I don't know. I'm going after them. Sheriff, your deputy was a lucky man. He got to look into the face of the devil before he died. You like killing, don't you, Scrag? You got a problem with that, Sheriff? No. I know the law will catch up to you. They always do. What are you doing? 
We don't need a hostage. You're just gonna slow us down. He's fixing to cut our friend here loose. Nobody goes anywhere. Now sit down. Take it easy. He's no good to us like this. Probably bleed to death before nightfall anyway. All right. What are you waiting for, Sheriff? Get before I change my mind. Change my mind. He went after the man who did this to you. He can't handle it by himself. I against them, too. If you don't lie still, you're going to open up that wound. You need rest, Jack. No, I owe them two hombres something, Marie. I have to go. <sighs> Drop your weapons. Easy. Now get away from him. Hey, Mountie, uh, you're a little bit out of line, aren't you? I mean, just being in the United States and all. You murdered a man. Murder? Hey, that was self-defense. We caught him stealing our supplies. There's a marshal back in Border Town wants to return something you left with him. Marshal's still alive? Shut up, you idiot. Put the cuffs on, now! You can't get both of us, Redcoat. Next man who moves has the other one bury him. I don't think so. Don't beat Hall. Where are you going? To get the Mountie. He's dead! Let's get out of here. And make the same mistake we did with the Marshal? Go ahead and shoot, Scrag. You can't see. Who are you? Where'd you go? Can't see him. I know a place where we can hide. Wait. You want to fight those men alone? Come on. Let's leave it, Scrag. We can make timber falls by morning, by then we'll be in the next county. And I say we kill him now. You got a problem with that? He's gotta be nearby. 
Well, I can't see him. Well, he didn't just disappear. Keep looking. Couldn't have gotten far. You can't stay out here. I've got to get you back to Bordertown. How'd you know I was from Bordertown? You've got to be. It's the only town around for 20 miles. Where are you going? Look, I can't... I can't get you involved in this. And how far will you get in your condition? Don't worry about me. Don't be a fool. Like it or not, we're in this together. Talk me out of this, Marie. I got a job to do. And so do I. You're interfering in the duties of a law officer. All right. I hate to do this to you, Marie, but you're under arrest. Now go sit in that cell. Go get help. That's the best thing to do. The best thing to do would be to leave you here, period. Unfortunately, I don't have it in me to do that. You don't stand a chance against these men. They're killers. They've already murdered two lawmen, possibly another. Well, looking at you, I don't see any reason to admire lawmen. My gun blew up in my face, all right? I spent over two years around here. My traps are laid all through these woods. I won't let you risk your life. It's not your decision, Corporal. It's mine, and I've already made it, so come on. I've got some supplies hidden nearby. I don't even know your name. Kelly. Clive Bennett. Your voice reminds me of a woman I once knew. A red-headed woman. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Now, hold still. There's a Cree village uh, near Turtle Creek. We can get some horses there. I'm not going to drag you over half the territory to get some horses. We'll take the Highland Trail. I know it well. Do you have another gun? <laughs> what for? You can't see to shoot the ground in front of you. Hold still. I don't want to do any more damage than is already done. What are you doing out here, anyway? What concern of yours is it? What, are you an outlaw? Of sorts. What are you going to do? Arrest me? I suppose not. Good. This will have to do for now. Come on. He's got help. Come on. It's just a woman. Where are we going? This is my trap line. Careful. This way.
Hey, be careful. That's all the ammunition I have. I can't see. I can't even load this gun. Look, don't worry. What? What do you mean, don't worry? You'll be able to see again. How do you know? What are you, a doctor as well as an outlaw? Look, you've gotten this far by trusting me, haven't you? How do you know that I will see again? I don't. But if we don't keep moving, those two will catch up with us and you'll never know. All right? Which way? <coughs> Stop here. No, gotta keep going. It'll be dark soon. We'll move out before dawn. What are you doing? I don't like surprises. Why are you helping me? A man in your position should not be questioning my help. Take it gratefully. What is it? That's who you remind me of. Catherine McGraw. <laughs> who? She's a young lady of very little virtue. She used to practice her trade along the streets of Bordertown. I remind you of her. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> she was a good woman. I tried to help her, but uh, she wouldn't listen. So I had to run her out of town. That's what you consider help? She wouldn't change. Before she left, she stole a locket that belonged to my mother. They found us. Hey, Moni! Stay put. Give yourself up and we'll let your lady friend live. outside of border town now why don't you come with me no look i owe you my life you owe me nothing i gotta go now you take care of yourself Clyde Bennett. wait how can i thank you just think about your judgments you can be wrong about people sometimes
Clive? It's all right. It's all right. Clive, you all right? Jack, nice to hear your voice. Where's the woman? What woman? The one who helped me. Can I take these bandages off, Marie? In a couple of days. Couple of days? Oh, why don't you show Clive how well you can read? Keep him company. Oh, haven't I already been through enough? No arguments. It's the only way I can keep an eye on the two of you. Ain't no use in fighting her, Clive. Believe me, I've tried. Have fun, boys. About that woman, ain't you? She saved my life, Jack. I want to find her. Yeah, well, there'll be uh, plenty of time for that. Come on, go get my glasses so I can read this. Uh, take your mind off things for a while, all right? I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. I found a locket. Might have belonged to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs>